Hello, this is Matthew with Technomicon Media, and just wanted to share with you guys some uh, footage of my newly rolled uh, main. I initially rolled with uh, the Old Republic uh, Sith Sorcerer, but just found that I wanted to go with something, you know, more melee and uh, specifically a tank class. So I went with a Sith Warrior and then Spect uh, Juggernaut slash Immortal, and that's the the pretty much the tank spec for a Sith Warrior. And it's, it's a lot of fun being able to just literally, as the namesake, become immortal. If you, if you have enough heals and uh, the right gear, you're pretty difficult to kill. And that, I like that. I like being the meat shield for groups. And uh, here I'm just doing a, a heroic daily out in Ilum. And the pet I have out is Jaysa. And I pretty much just switch between Jaysa and Quinn. And depending upon what I need, if I need a you know, good healer, then I use Quinn. If, if I just need to burn through a lot of targets, then I go with Jaina. So pretty much just uh, cool things about Sith Juggernaut is um, you get a lot of interrupts, a lot of stuns, a lot of ways to control the pace of, of combat. So if you get into a, a bind where you need to wait on something, heals, whatever, you can pretty much just stun lock people, you know, targets, enemies, whatever. So here we have um, Hard Mode Directive 7, and it's just a cool fight, and it shows kind of, you know, the ups and the downs of uh, melee tanking, which is is mobility when you're dealing with, uh, you know, targets that are far apart from one another. And um, the main solution for that, of course, is um, the, um, the, the leap ability that you'll see right now. There it goes. Uh, that allows you to get from one target to the next. It has a cooldown, but it's, it's pretty short, but that... That lets you get from one target to the next, and, and it's actually resettable uh, if you use the ability called Force Push. We'll reset the cooldown on Force Leap. So, um, Directive 7 is pretty cool. It's really straightforward. It's a lot of fun. It looks complicated, but it's not. It's, you know, traditional, just, you know, kill whatever target's available and uh, stay out of fire. In this case, these huge, you know, targets, red targets on the ground. It doesn't get much more obvious than that. and yeah, you know, it's uh, coming over to me, and I'm just kind of skirting around the, uh, the the target that I need to kill while avoiding that. And um, so, pretty much, that's the fight. And cool thing about hard modes in the Old Republic is they drop pretty pretty decent gear, almost almost too good. Um, you can you can run hard modes and get you know pretty much very similar gear to that that you could in raids. Here's actually. My first raid in uh, the Old Republic, which is uh, Eternity Vault, I've never been here before, and it's very uh, reminiscent of Molten Core, and I was brought in as the off-tank, so for this specific fight, an off-tank isn't needed, and I'm just kind of trying to DPS and uh, taking care of these ads. So this is pretty much my uh, first impressions and um, insights into Sith Warrior slash Juggernaut slash Immortal spec. And um, check back with us uh, regularly as I give some more insights into various classes as well as uh, tackling on some PvB tips and whatnot.